Hi, my name is Alex and today I will be making a video about my rhinoplasty. So on April, I decided that I wanted to get a rhinoplasty. I didn't do much research on the surgeon. I just really saw a surgeon on Instagram. I was following somebody and I had seen that they had um, gotten a rhinoplasty. It was like an influencer, I guess, and she um, lived in the Houston area. I had been thinking that I wanted to get her a nose job and so when I saw that she had gotten a nose job I liked the way her nose looked so <clears throat> I thought okay well I want to see how she could help me so I wanted to make an appointment with this doctor so I could talk to her about my nose and so I did she charged me a hundred dollars for a visit just a consultation I went ahead and paid the hundred dollars and that hundred dollars was gonna be part of my uh, surgery like it was gonna be all like it was gonna go towards my surgery so um, I went ahead and booked a consultation with her I had told her that I wanted a, a small smaller nose because I thought my nose was big for my face but um, I just told her I want a smaller nose and I want my nostrils reduced and so my nostrils were probably like I can't they were probably like right here I just told her I was like I want my nostrils reduced I want a smaller nose and she said okay well this is what I can do so she morphed some pictures on her computer um, she showed me what my nose could look like or would look like if uh, she, I was to have surgery with her and I'll show you the pictures that she gave me that day and um, of what my nose could possibly look like if I went ahead and had the surgery so this this is what my side profile looked like and so she said that it would look like this so I was like okay that's cute I'm I'm okay with that and so then the front this was my front my frontal view and she said that it would look like this which I thought okay there's I feel like from the front there's not much of a difference my nostrils are just gonna be brought in just a little bit she said because to begin with I have really small nostrils like really small nostrils and so I wanted them to be a little bit smaller because um, I just want this the alar base to be reduced and so she said okay I can do that for you but it's not gonna be much of a big change I know I should have should have seen other doctors and I should have probably made more research and probably should have um, I don't know, but I, I just decided to have this rhinoplasty out of nowhere. I decided that I wanted to get a nose job and I went ahead and did it with the first surgeon that I found through an influencer. And probably that's not the best thing one should do. One should make their research and try to find the best doctor that can work with you. But um, I'm very impulsive, so I do things without thinking sometimes, most of the time actually. And so I went ahead and um, did that. So <laughs> thankfully, there was nothing wrong with me, like nothing that worries me. There is some swelling that it's uneven swelling in my nose, but um, that's about it. The recovery was so painful. I will never want to go through a surgery like that again. I couldn't breathe. I kept on waking at the mid waking up at the middle of the night. I had really bad pain. Felt like somebody had hit me in the face with something really hard and my face hurt. The two pictures shown here are the pictures I took immediately out from surgery. And I I, it was not, I was just not happy. I was not having it. Um, so I, I, the experience, I will insert some pictures of what I look like. And um, I think I made a video of like me, like an update, I guess, whenever I was having, I, would, I was had the cast on and everything. I will insert that video too. Where do I even begin? This is the best I've been 
I got my rhinoplasty on Thursday the 31st. So I got my rhinoplasty on March the 31st. March the 31st and today is April the 7th. And this has been a crazy experience for me. Today is actually the first day that I feel well enough to make a video and express how I've been feeling. Um, this looks like a total mess and it looks very disgusting. I know. So I'm gonna zoom in right here. I have all that bruising, as you can see, all in there. My nostrils, you can see the stitches right there. And you, all this is Neosporin, that antibiotic cream, and all this nasty blood, and of course, purple here. So, all of that fun goes all of that going on i have arnica i have an arnica gel right here so the swelling and the discoloration goes down um my lips uneven because they need filler um i feel like the bottom part of my face is no longer swollen i think i just have chubby cheeks now because I've been eating so much. The first three, four days, I couldn't taste anything. My sense of smell was gone. Because I couldn't smell, my, my nose was blocked with, I still don't know what, because I still can't breathe properly. So, and it's, I used a saline spray that you're supposed to use, but I feel like it's not working because I still can't breathe. And I should be able to breathe now but I still can't so I'm not sure what's the matter with this tomorrow I get my cast removed so I'm very excited I've been feeling very tired this was a very tedious kind of annoying recovery and somehow a little bit painful I just felt very tired I had my BBL surgery and that was painful that was the most painful thing I've ever gone through but this one it's just it's weird because it feels like a lot of pressure on your face and it feels like your face is about to explode and it's a throbbing kind of sensation and it just feels weird I've been using that kind of thing to prop up and sleep i have stitches all right there where they did an alar base reduction my nostrils never look like this actually my nostrils were little holes and now they look like this which i'm super super happy about Ooh, my skin has been kind of weird see all that all those bumps like what are these these are bumps I mean, I, I don't wash my face because I can't, but still, like, I got a pimple right there. Now it's gone. But why have I been getting all these bumps here? I don't know. I just started recently. And then here, like, a lot of bumps. I haven't washed my face in a week. I have this cast on that they're going to take off tomorrow. I wish I, wish I could take it off myself. And this is my side profile with cast on. Well, I'm gonna go now because tomorrow I have to wake up at seven to go to my doctor's office and take this thing off. It's not fun. It was really painful. I don't understand how people say, oh, it was like so easy. I'm like, no, <laughs> it was really hard. <laughs> it was not pleasant. I mean, it was not as bad as when I got my my um, my liposuction done, but it was pretty. It was pretty bad. But the worst the worst surgery I've ever gotten that was like really painful was my liposuction surgery. That was incredible. Like not incredible in the good way, but incredible in the bad way. <laughs> okay, so I have the papers of how much it was. 
I can go ahead and show you. So my surgery was scheduled for April 1st at 12.30. Crazy thing is that we, I wasn't supposed to drink any liquids prior to my surgery and I was so nervous and I had forgotten that and I went ahead and drank water. The anesthesiologist was kind of upset with me because he's like, oh, you're so nervous, but you went ahead and drank water. Uh, I'm sorry, my dog. Oh, this is my dog. His name is William. He's beautiful in my eyes. <laughs> So I went ahead and drank water and um, that delayed my surgery. Um, it delayed my surgery by an hour. I don't know, it was, it was really bad. I got in trouble for that. Thankfully, they went ahead and did the surgery on me. They could have said, hey, we're canceling the surgery. You are not having the surgery today. And I would have been so sad because I had been waiting a month for the surgery which is not a long time i understand it's not a long time people have waited more time but i was just so excited i was so eager to have it that um i just i would have been sad i would have been really really sad i have the pricing right here i'm just gonna show a little bit of what it looks like uh if you can see so I was charged a total of $9,990. Anesthesiology fees, anesthesia fees were $830. The facility fees was $1,500. The procedure was $7,660. It was a rhinoplasty and ALAR base reduction. So basically they brought in my nostrils and they shaved off the hump that I had. And I will insert pictures of what my nose looked like before. These are the pictures of what my nose looked like before I got my rhinoplasty. And I will show you what my nose looks like right now. I have some makeup on, so I mean, but it's not much of a difference. So, um, so I have noticed that um, after my surgery, I can't really like scrub or exfoliate my face properly because it's just um it's still very sensitive so it kind of hurts if I like push it or if I move it too much but I did whenever the first week of having my cast off I like my baby brother did smash his face into my face and that was so painful. I was scared that my nose was going to be crooked because it was still healing. And so I was just so scared and I kept on trying to like uh, fix it and doing this and this and this, like pressuring it. Um, but I don't think it's crooked. I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. It might be and you know, I just don't notice. But um, now it's like I have a lot of pimples around here, if you can see. Just a lot of acne. Like it's very like, and I get so much oil in my nose. Like, I don't know. It's like it changed. Like over here, it's like I don't have anything going on over here. Everything's clear. And then my nose is like full of like these bumps. And it's because I can't clean it properly. My skin is just suffering. And I can't clean it properly because um, I just, I'm scared to like hurt myself because I mean, I was done in April. So, I mean, it's still healing. I'm just scared to move it or do anything with it. That's the only problem I'm having right now with my skin. But this is the front view. Okay, so quick, my nostrils are very uneven and she said that they're uneven because of the swelling. So right here, I have like a bump and I don't know, this side is like completely like good. You can see right here, like you can see right here, it's, it's good. But here, like you see this, sorry, my hands are so ugly, but it's okay. It's not, it's not a video about my hands, but you can see here that, um, there's like bumpy right here. So I don't know if, um, 
I don't know if that's gonna go away, but I feel like that is affecting the way my nostrils are forming because my nostrils are very uneven. Um, I'll show you my nostrils right now. Mm. See how like um, this nostril is smaller than this nostril? So they should be like this for it to... Uh, that like that would be better I'll show a picture if I have a picture of what my nostrils used to look like and my side profile is like this I hope it's focused and my other side profile is like this yeah <laughs> so that's it with my nose oh and my my front profile is like this I don't know if you can see that yep that's my nose and um that's what I got done yeah that's about it with my rhinoplasty if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below i will try my hardest to answer them and i will try my hardest to make more videos because i feel like i want to start making more videos but i don't know like what to make videos about and if you have instagram i think we should be friends okay so this is my username oh focus 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 oh, there you go that's my instagram i miss my long hair i cut it because the other hair what i when i had it like down here it was all dead because my hairstylist burnt my hair and that's a video another video for another day but it was really burnt like really really burnt so um i had to cut it all off and it has like um like i dyed it a little bit blue i don't know if you can see it you can't really see it but it has some blue in it and um oh i wish let me see let me see if you can see it with the light on Ooh. okay so oh you can see a little bit like a little blue no you can't see it i'm so annoyed um yeah this is my ring light and it's so bright i bought this in um i don't know where i bought it walmart i think and um i mean it's pretty good <laughs> i don't know i never use it i just use natural lighting oh that's scary that was so scary um i just used natural lighting the lighting god gave us and so yeah <laughs> i think that's better than whatever is going up in there but yeah if you have any other questions just leave them down below and i will try my hardest to answer all of them and um thank you so much for watching okay so also another thing um <sighs> I got lip filler. This time it hurt like a bee. It hurt so much. And I remember getting lip filler when I was younger and it didn't hurt as much as this time. This time it hurt a lot. It hurt a lot. And so um yeah, I think it became crook it came out not became it came out crooked in a way like okay, so this is the outline of my lips. Um, but can you see that this side is like that and this side is more full? Look, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. This side is more full. No, this side is more full and this one is like that. So, I mean, it looks like I'm like talking like, like that or something. I don't know. It just looks weird. And I am just done trying to fix it. It became like that after I had really nice lips I had like all even lips and I just messed them up doing lip filler and now I can't go back and I feel like if I dissolve it what if my lips look soggy you know they're stretched out because of the lip filler like what if I have soggy ass lips like 
<laughs> I'm not I I just I'm gonna let this like sit there and go out like by itself thank you for watching thank you so 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 much for watching if you're watching may God bless you and everything you do in life be great greater than great greater than greater great better than great <laughs> I just wish you the best